Gee, but it's great to be back home. Home is where I want to be, yeah. We put Simon and Garfunkel for you there. With the daily updates, you can't make up. It's the Black Isle Correspondent. She lives in Fort Rose and tells us what goes on. If your isolation causes desperation, try the Black Isle Correspondent. If you're feeling grumpy, you'll find some company here. I'm home for a few days and on Sunday evening at 6 o'clock, Dad, Bob and I are going to be hosting a session live... I tell you what, I've not been homesick for those scurries. Shut up, you lot! Sunday night, 6 o'clock, on the Zoom, Dad and I are hosting a session for Face Ross, which you can come along and join in with. So that's the crack. That's what I'm doing here. I'm not allowed to stay in the house. So what I've got is this. Four-person dome tent. The thing is, I hate camping. I haven't put up a tent since I went to Cambridge Folk Festival in 2003 and got really raging about the whole thing and woke up with spider right beside my face. Far too hot, a bit sweaty and hung over in a tent with Jen and Myrid from the band. It was really very grim. So I'm hoping for a slightly better experience here. Most important thing about setting up camp is finding the right pitch for your tent. I think that's what they call it. I know that I need to avoid the clothes line and probably need to avoid any potential zoomies paths for the dogs. So I think this corner here better move that bird feeder. Look, what's clearly happening is that she doesn't think I'm going to have correctly assessed the terrain. I've already just told them how I'm going to avoid the clothesline and set up in that corner. To be helpful. Tried to assist you. Got no faith in my Bear Grylls abilities whatsoever. It's a bag of sticks. Poles? Tent poles! What's this? Is that the tent? There's nothing left in the bag after this. Is that it? Two bits! Oh, looks like a door. Oh, there's, there's that the other side. That's underneath. Ground sheet or something. Is it? Oh, there's just more bits to this all the time. That's surely the bottom there. Eh? Oh yes, I've seen people doing this on campsites. Oh look, what's that? Pegs. Girls, I think we've got this. Oh, McPhail's away inside. You don't want to be involved in this, McPhail. Actively turning her back on me here. Oh, here, look! There's instructions inside! Step one. Book a hotel. You should know better than to be anywhere near the inside of a tent bag. Interesting. Oh! What are these? There's lighter grey and darker grey. Shiny metal. How do you campers do this? Oh. That. Really There's colour coded poles, ma'am. Have you ever gone camping? Twice. Did it ever go well? No. Hated do, it. Do you think this? See, maybe I've got a genetic mistrust of sleeping under canvas. Um, that looks like a bit of tin. Well, it looks quite good. This have is... you checked the grass? I assumed when I showed up at the campsite that all due diligence would have been carried out. Well, yes, but the dogs have been out here with you. Well, for 10 minutes, don't. anything, anything can happen. I don't. Guide badge. Which badge did you get for this? Camping. 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 Camp. Oh, you could come out with a wee uh, glockenspiel like Heidi High. Oh. Morning campers. morning, campers. Good morning, campers. Heidi High. You could do that tomorrow morning. You could bring me out a battery. I could. When I wake with the sun at half past three. Forget it. I see you tent has a veranda. It's got a patio deck. When I'm accepting visitors, I'll do that. Put up the oh, flag. Brilliant. And you I can come and visit me. Rickmond. There's a very strict entry policy for the tent. Oh, like I'm talking about dress code before you even get in the premises. So what have we got to wear? Here. Proper outdoor North gear. Face. Aye. Listen, you've got to have the proper gear for a camping holiday. You can't just be turning up willy nilly in your city clothes sure. like you always do. <laughs> uh, There's an instruction tension the porch pole. Tension's not a verb. Tension the porch pole. Tension the porch pole. Right. Oh, here, come on now. Settle down, you lot. It's tense. Snogging. With two people at opposite corners of the main dome, attach the pins into the ends of the poles. What? Oh! Hooks on here. Oh! 
right. Just a boot. Yes. Here's a porch. Yeah, use a porch. Eh? Yeah, right. I'm gonna use a porch. Dad, you've got to use your outbuildings. Else, how do you know you're living rural? Here we are. Uh, porch. Welcome to the Pleasure Dome tent. What was that? Magic. Better move the bird feeders to the tent and get pooped on. Maybe what I'll do is I could use these spikes just to like place my breakfast in bed order outside. <laughs> you could use them to ward off the gulls. <laughs> like a spear like Tom oh, Hanks and Castaway. I could right. the SSPCA are gonna watch that. Thanks, Dad. There we go. That's it. A tent. I had the Inverness Holiday Inn Express on speed dial this whole time and haven't needed it. The light is not yet done. Jason and Nicola, I hope you're Mum's got a bedside light idea. Battery light. This was your Christmas tree this year? It was. Well, we had two of them. Two Christmas trees? Two Christmas trees. Oh, that's posh. I do Lynn. So that's going to help me. I think so. You could read. I could use it to keep my Captain Scott style. Your journal. I'm going out <laughs> my now. My journal. I may be I'm going, sometime. I'm going out and I'm decamping to the sheddy. <laughs> well, there would be room in the polytunnel in between the raised beds. <sighs> got some heavy duty fleece lined up keep me cosy. Might get Sunny and McPhail to try and keep me company. Bit of body heat Sunny. Not interested. Tomorrow night 5pm on the McGregor's Facebook page I'll let you know how it's all gone. Or perhaps there'll be some Blair Witch style video diaries throughout the night with a big snotter dripping off the end of my nose going I can hear the scaries, I can hear them. Oh mum can you put the kettle on? Kettle's on, fish is on. Camping stove? Well you maybe need to eat outside. We could wave it to you through the window. It's just like a chip shop. Oh, yeah. Take away. Would you like peas? The chef's asking. Yes, peas. Yes, yes please. Wish me good luck.